Hello, good evening. Good evening, hello. Hello, hello. how are you today, Mr. Galan? Good, good. Good, great. See, are everything good. Did you work today? Yes, a little bit. What do you do? Um, um, when, uh, I send my uh, class for the children and write my report and send to. Okay, so you are a teacher. Yes, uh, but is for karate. A karate teacher, and you send the, the class. Yes. <laughs> okay, nice. So the kids can keep active, right? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, good for you. Uh, what about you, Carla? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Tired and busy. Tired and busy, I imagine, right? Is there any COVID case in the place where you're working? Yes. Um, Centro de Contención. Uh -huh. Two, two centros. Okay. Wow. So it's stressful. Yes, teacher. Okay. Just let's spray so this finish soon. <laughs> uh, and take oh, care. Yes. Be careful. Yes, teacher. Thank you. What about the rest of you, Miguel Angel? How are you today? Oh, fine, teacher. Fine. Did you work yes. today? Uh, yes. What um, do you do? Um, how do you say um, microfinances? You work with finances. Okay. Are you an accountant? Um, Genetic uh, responsible. Ah, yes. so you work with insurance, things like that? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. That's interesting. What about you, Felipe? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, I am very good. Uh, a little bit boring by the quarantine. Ah, so you just stay at home today. You didn't work. Yes. Ah, that's nice. And the rest of you, Beatriz, how are you? Hi, Miss. Good evening. And I'm fine, Miss. And you? <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Did you work today? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Only uh, stay at home. About the homework? Okay. Yes, so yes, work about work. the homework, yes. You work in the homework? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Nice. Congratulations. You're very responsible. <laughs> Okay. What about you, Luis Fernando? How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Did you work today? Yes, I worked. What do you do? I make some session by reunions. I don't know. Meetings. Meetings. Thanks. Ah, okay. So you were in a meeting. Yes, that, all day. Oh, and in meeting all day. <laughs> wow. Yes, it's boring. Uh, I know meetings tend to be boring. <laughs> okay, but let's continue. What about you, Mirna? What do you do? I find good night, teacher. Good night. How are you? Ah, uh, very much. Very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> 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 Did you work today, Mirna? Uh, today I got class. I get class. Okay. Oh, okay. What do you do? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am teacher mathematics. Wow, that's interesting. So you're teaching online? Yes, yes. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of work. So I suppose that the students send you pictures of the homework, pictures from the book, reports. 
video. Videos, okay, it's a lot of work. Okay. But it's nice. Iris, how are you today, Iris? Oh, very good. And the baby? Eh, no sé cómo se diría. Ahí está el terremoto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I suppose that he is playing. Ah. Uh, si, si ha jugado como. Uh, no. Uh, I suppose that he's around there playing. Anda por ahí jugando. Ah. Eh, siempre, always. Always. Sí. <laughs> Very active. And uh, is he receiving classes? Yes, in the morning. Es, se conecta el salón y soy maestra también. Ah, yes. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Well, it is nice to have you here, guys. Uh, did you check the platform? Anybody check the platform? Yes. Yes. What is the topic for today? And the... Uh, 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 about... How do you spend your time? Short, short answer. Uh -huh, about answer. Answer. Yes, we're going to study yes, no question, short answers with the bird B, and also we have a, a conversation. That's the beginner we have here. Uh, we're going to practice the conversation, and we're, then we're going to discuss um, a little about the questions and things like that. This is the conversation that you saw on the platform, right? Did you see this conversation in the platform? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's the topic of the conversation. They are greeting each other. The topic is how's it going? Yeah. How's it going is similar to how are you? Is similar. How's it going? You can ask the person. How's it going? Is similar in meaning to how are you? So I can ask how's it going? You see? Fine, yep. thanks. Good, terrific, fantastic. So you can give different answers. That's a greeting. So we're gonna listen to the conversation. Uh, pay attention to the pronunciation, to the intonation, and then we're gonna practice. Page five, exercise seven, conversation. How's it going? Listen and practice. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. All right, that's the conversation. Did you find new vocabulary? Any new word? Uh, yes. Um, chemistry. I'm chemistry. On my way. Okay, when you say, let's see, it's chemistry. Es como chemistry. Chemistry. Chemistry es la materia de como si, lo que sería química. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Química es chemistry. Okay, chemistry. Y cuando decimos, I'm on, I'm on my way, estoy en camino. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Ajá, uh -huh. mm -hmm. estoy en camino. Any other? ¿Alguna otra? Estas se las tienen que aprender, vocabulario nuevo. Practiquen, no aprendan. ¿no? Any other new word or expression? Uh -huh. um. No, it's fine. All two. It's okay. All two work. Uh, uh, Ned, I have a question. What is the difference in... How, you say that it's similar how it, how it's, how it's going, but uh -huh. what is the difference when, how are you? Uh, I, I don't know. Eh, básicamente sería como si lo queremos interpretar en español, si le preguntas how are you, es, es cómo estás. Okay. 
Pero como, how's it going? Es como decir, ¿cómo te va? ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo te está yendo? How's it going? Okay, y aquí se ve como es una conversación en la que se encuentran dos amigos, no sé, los dos no pueden decir, how are you? And how are you? <risa> how are you? And how are you? O sea, es como para ampliar un poco vocabulario, hay expresiones que son similares en significado. Si usted dice, okay. how are you? O how's it going? Básicamente es el mismo significado. Uh -huh. okay. Es para preguntarle Thank a la you. persona cómo estás o cómo te va. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. So, we're going to listen. Y le voy a poner pausa para que ustedes repitan. Vayan practicando y luego vamos a hacer otro ejercicio. Page 5, exercise 7, conversation. How's it going? Listen and practice. Hey, David. How's it going? It's your turn. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. How's it going? Okay. Con, con un poquito más de feeling. Hey, David. How's, how's it going? <laughs> hey, hey, David. How's it going? How are you? Okay. Sounds better. No mejor. So are you? Hey, David. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Perfect. Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, Hi, thanks. thanks. How, are How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, one more time. Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Hi, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Very good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, are you glad you're Okay, great. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are. I really they love, love chemistry. 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 chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, they are. No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. It's in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Listen, Listen I'm on my way to cafeteria now. Are you free? Are you free? Sure, let's go. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Okay, sound really, really good. Let's go. Okay. Nice. All right, so we're going to practice um, all the boys. Vamos a dividir la clase como en dos grupos, chicos y chicas. Vamos a empezar con las chicas. Todas las chicas a la cuenta de tres repiten la parte de Sonji y los chicos la parte de David. Ok, ready ladies? Yeah. Yes. 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 Let's start. One, two, three. Hey, David. Hey, David. How are you going? Fine, thanks. How are you? How are you? Pretty good. So, are you glad you came to this semester? Yes, they are. Pretty low. Chemistry. Chemistry. Are you in the same class? No. no, no, we, we are, are in the morning. In the morning. Yes, in the morning. morning. Yes, in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way. Are you free? Are you free? Sure, let's go. 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 No, miren, se oye como algunos la señal como que es más lenta que la de otros, pero en medio del relajo escucho. <ríe> Escuché que lo hicieron muy bien. 
bien, solo escuché tres palabras que fueron pronunciadas por ahí, uno que otro las dijo de otra manera. Por ejemplo, aquí, ven donde tengo el pointer aquí, es pretty. Pretty. Ajá, pretty. 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 No significa bonito cuando va antes de un adjetivo. El pretty es como para darle realce al adjetivo. En este caso el adjetivo es good. El pretty realza el good. Pretty good es bastante bien. Si solo digo, ah, oh, good. Pretty woman. Es good. Ahí, ajá, mujer bonita. Ahí sí, el pretty es, es porque woman es un nombre. Eh, un nombre común. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero cuando van... Me cambia el sentido. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso es para realizar. Ok, la otra que escuché fue same. Esta, same. 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 Ajá, same. Y la otra, cafeteria. 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 Ok, perfecto. Ahora vamos a cambiar. Ahora van a empezar los chicos con la parte de Sonji y las chicas van a repetir la parte de David. Ready, boys? Okay. Ready. One, yes. three. Hey, baby. Hey, David. How are Hi, hey. hey. how, how, how are you? How are you? Pretty good. So are you? So are you? 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 Are no, no we are are in my, my class, my class in, in the morning, morning. Ah, in, the the in the afternoon. Listen, Listen I am going to the conference. Now, are you free? Are you free? Sure, sure. Oh, let's go. go. Let's go. go. Okay, very nice. Well done. I only hear this chemistry. 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 Okay. Chemistry. Very good. Nice. All right. Let's continue with the grammar focus here. You can see the yes, no questions and short answers with B. Que es básicamente lo que vieron en, en la, ¿cómo se llama? En la plataforma. Los que tuvieron oportunidad de revisar antes, decíamos yes, no questions. In short answers with be. Cuando estamos hablando de to be, se cero estar, ¿verdad? Yes, no questions, yes. decimos que son las que en las cuales podemos responder y dar una respuesta corta y decir yes o no. Por eso se llaman yes, no questions. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Primero vamos a poner el verbo to be. Entendamos, am, um, is, are. Luego el sujeto, you, David, bed, you, and bed, your classes. Y luego el complemento y finalmente el signo de pregunta. Siempre en la respuesta vamos a incluir el verbo to be. Por ejemplo aquí, are you free? Le pregunto, ¿estás libre? Are you free? Yes. I am. Si sí, lo estoy. Yes, I am. Cuando hacemos negativas, no, coma, I am not. Siempre recuérdense que en el primero es solo no. Y luego decimos not, con T al final. Pero estuve viendo unos ejercicios que le ponían not aquí con T. Eh, ahí no lleva T. Siempre va a ser primero solo no, sin T al final. Y luego acá, y le ponemos not. No, I am not. Is David from Mexico? 
If the answer is affirmative, yes, he is. Siempre sujeto y verbo to be. No, he's not. Oh, no, he isn't. En formas contractadas, ahí están completas. Vamos a escuchar el audio para que escuchen la pronunciación. Yeah. Page 5, exercise 8. Grammar focus. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay, do you have any questions about this grammar? Mm -hmm. Questions here? No questions? For no. the moment, no. No, teacher. No. Okay, so let us teacher. Teacher. Sí. Uh, I have a question. Uh, es, es acerca de la estructura de, de la yes no questions. El not por parte de la estructura siempre va a ser así. Not, o sea, un, un, únicamente va a ir n o t en esa estructura. Sol, solamente ahí vamos 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 a utilizar el not. Sí, solo en, en la de cuando sea con el verbo to be, porque de hecho nosotros anteriormente hemos estudiado eh, que el presente simple anteriormente lo dividimos como decirlo en dos partes, porque está el presente simple con el verbo to be, los, los que están desde el módulo pasado se recordarán que les decía que no se mezclan, ¿verdad?, El verbo to be tiene su yes, no question. Eh, por ejemplo, veamos esta pregunta. Eh, le dice, are, are you free? ¿Estás libre? Y en este caso la respuesta negativa sería no, como queremos ver la negativa, ¿verdad? No, coma. I am. I am not. Okay? No, I am not. Porque estoy trabajando con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Presente con el verbo to be. ¿Estás libre? No, no lo estoy. No, I am not. El verbo to be es cero estar. Lo, de, lo definíamos así. Pero si yo voy a preguntar con cualquier otro verbo que no sea to be, entonces, ¿qué sucede? La estructura cambia tanto en la pregunta como en la respuesta. Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar, uh, ¿te gusta te gusta el rock? Yes. Ajá, pero ¿cómo haría la pregunta? Yeah. Do you like the do rock? You? rock? Excelente, excelente. Do, ahí ya no do uso you. el verbo to be, sino que uso el auxiliar do. Do you like do you like music? Rock music. Rock music. Do you like rock music? Y ahí voy a cambiar. Si la respuesta es no, no. Ahí ya no voy a poner not porque el not va con el to be, sino que voy a usar siempre el auxiliar este. No. I don't. No I don't. Y puedo hacerla, no, I don't like rock music. Así. Entonces ahí depende con la estructura que estemos trabajando. En este caso, la del verbo to be es la que usa el not. No, I am not. Right? Eh, okay, teacher, entonces, eh, gracias, gracias. Quizás solo para... Para repasar un poco, entonces sería incorrecto decir, no, I do not. Eh, Podría aquí, ser, aquí. I do not. Sí, exacto. Ajá. Sí, se puede ser, no, I do not. I do not. Es correcto. Ah, ok. Es correctísimo. Okay. 
Lo único que en, eh, se usa más es contractado. contractado. Sí, 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 ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero si usted lo hace en forma completa, es, es ok también. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, okay. teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? No more questions. Ok. So let's continue then. Uh, in this exercise, you just complete the conversation and then practice with the partner. Acuérdense que aquí estamos trabajando con verb to be, esta estructura que estamos viendo acá. Y de acuerdo a lo que está ahí en el cuadrito y que hemos estudiado, vamos a ir respondiendo. Por ejemplo, aquí en la primera veo que lo que hay acá es una pregunta. Y la pregunta es acerca de Miss Gray. La Miss Gray. Entonces, como es tercera persona, es is. ¿Verdad? Is Miss Gray from the United States? Yes, she. Is. Yes, she is. Ajá, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Aquí hay un punto y ahora dice from Chicago. ¿Qué falta aquí? She is from She's Chicago. From Chicago. Ajá, excelente. She is from Chicago. Entonces, en su cuadernito debería decir número uno, is, is, is from, she is from. Uh -huh. she. Solo las respuestas para que no lo copien todo. Ahora si son ágiles escribiendo, lo pueden copiar todo. Con todo y resto. Tan rápido. <risa> Number two and three is missing. Finish. 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 Yes. Okay, we're going to check your answers. Number one, it's done, right? Number two. Are you are you are you are you English class at ten? Number two. Yes. <laughs> Number English class at ten. Is from far. Oh, it isn't. Is English class at ten? It is. It is at. Is 
Is the English class? Is your English class? Okay. Is English class? Yes, it's correct. Your answer is correct. Is English class at 10? And the answer, no. No, it's at 11. It is at 11. Okay, very easy. No, it isn't. Si lo contestan contractado, sería no, it isn't. O si lo hacen completo, no, it's not. It's o de la not. otra manera de contractar, hay oh. dos formas de contractar, ¿verdad? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's, it's the, it not is not. at 11. Oh. Okay, number three. Are you, are you uh, are morning you for France? France? Yes, yes, we are. Yes, 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 we, we are. are. We are, we are from, Paris. from Paris. Paris. Excellent. The answer, are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. We are from Paris. Paris. And number four. Are Mrs. Mrs. Tavares American? No, no, they, they are. are. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They are Brazilian. They are Brazilian. Brazil. Brazilian. Okay, there you have the answer. Are Mr. and Mrs. Stars American? No, they aren't. They aren't. O oh, pueden poner no, they are not. They are not. They are Brazilian. Excellent. Do you have any questions so far? Questions here? No one teacher. No teacher. No, it's okay. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. It's okay. Okay, can you answer these questions about yourself? Okay, vamos a contestar estas preguntas acerca de nosotros mismos. No, I am not. No, Canada. No. No, I am not. I don't have a car. <laughs> Who is smiling? Yes. Finish. Are you from Are you from Canada? No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> no, she not. I am Salvadorian, like Cusas. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, finished. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you can ask the question to each other. Uh, so, for example, uh, let's see someone here. 
I can ask any question. Uh, for example, Noe. Noe, is your class in the morning, Noe? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's at night. Okay, excellent. It's at night. No, it isn't. It's at night. Can you, Noe, can you ask a question to another classmate? I am going to make. Yes. Um, uh, um, a Miguel Angel. Yes, Noe, ask the question. Haga la pregunta. Is your English okay? Are you and your best friend the same age? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, they we no. aren't. We no, we aren't. No, we aren't. We aren't. No, we aren't. Yes. Okay, yes. no, we aren't. Continue, Miguel. Ask a question to another classmate. Uh, Victor, is your teacher from Canada? No, she is not. She okay. is from El Salvador. Okay, good, Victor. Ask a question to another classmate. Karen? Hi. Hi. Is your English class in the morning? No, it isn't. It is at night. Okay, good. Good job. All right, guys. After that, you did a very good job with the answers. And what you have next on the platform, and it's a reading. I don't know if you've ever investigated. Yes? No podremos, no podemos esquivar esas, esas respuestas. ¿Cuáles? Así como, are you? La, las que acabamos de, de ver. Con posible, siempre tiene que ser sí y no. Es, no podemos sí. solo esquivarlas como, es posible o maybe. Se le fue la ceba. Hola. Olvídalo, teacher. Olvídalo. <laughs> okay, Danny. Okay, then what you have in the platform is what's the name. Esto es lo último que tienen en la sección 1. Es una lectura que se llama what's in a name. Um, have you ever investigated what is the meaning of your name? Eh, por ejemplo, a, a veces uh, ponemos en el buscador de Google eh, qué significa uh, Antonio. Ah, Antonio del griego, lo más hermoso. Lo más... <risa> y le da una definición del nombre, de qué significa, de cómo son los que se llaman Antonio y, y cosas por el ejemplo. A, 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 por ejemplo, aquí, eh, de eso se trata la, la lectura que tienen ahí. Vamos a escucharla. Y si hay algún vocabulario, alguna palabra que ustedes no reconozcan, para que ya cuando ustedes hagan este ejercicio en la plataforma, ya no haya ese problema, ¿verdad? Vamos a escucharla y vamos a ir leyendo con la vista, ¿verdad? Creo que no tiene audio este. Mm -mm. Ok, read the article. Vamos a leerlo. Is, your, name, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob, for boys, and Emma, for girls. Why is this name popular? 
Why are all names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TVs, or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. For example, boy's name, George, is an average and boring. Uh, Jacob, the people under the name Jacob can be creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Not nah, probably. Betty, old fashioned, average. De ahí quizá Betty la fea, ¿verdad? <laughs> Independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. ¿Hay alguna pregunta con el vocabulario hasta aquí? Sí, yo no sé qué significa average. Average es como el promedio, uh, lo más común. Por ejemplo, si uh, queremos okay. la, la, la estatura promedio del salvadoreño, es, entonces es uh, average age. Es 1.65, creo. <ríe> The average okay. age. Ajá, es el promedio, la media general. Ok, Ahora, thank you, teacher. Ok. Another question. Surprise, surprise, really. Surprisingly. <ríe> Esta, surprisingly, es sorpresivamente. Any other question? Average, boring. Teacher, yes. what is the meaning for plain? Uh, plain es algo como simple. Simple. Plain, ordinario, aburrido. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Hay gente que, que se refiere al plane. Por ejemplo, si usted ordena una hamburguesa y pide plane, que a ese término es que usted va a recibir solo el pan y la carne. Sin nada, sencillo, aburrido, solo la muy pan y la carne, sin lechuga, pepinillos, nada, sí, plane. Para eso también se ocupa el término plane. Right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so, why do parents give unpopular names? One reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Mm -hmm. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's good news for all Georges and Betty out there. <laughs> Any other question? What is the meaning out there? Afuera, ahí afuera. Out there, ahí afuera. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So you can investigate what is under your name. Que hay de su nombre. <laughs> and then you read this in the platform. Van a encontrar esta lectura al final de la sección 1. Con esto ustedes terminan. Y luego tienen que contestar de acuerdo a lo que han comprendido de la lectura. Ese es trabajo de la, que tienen que hacer ustedes en la plataforma. Luego tenemos vocabulary, part-time job. What is part-time? Medio tiempo. Yes, that's part time. And these are the no, most, uh -huh, the most common part time jobs in the United States. Okay, so we can take a look to those. Uh, the first one is usher. Usher. Uh huh. Tutor. Mm -hmm. Team assistant. Caregiver, server, fitness instructor. ¿Hay alguno que no está claro el significado? Caregiver. Sure. What is usher? 
que el usher es el acomodador. Comúnmente es un puesto del cine. El acomodador es el encargado de recibir y chequearle el ticket y decirle en qué fila de asientos usted se puede sentar. Entonces, un usher es un acomodador. Y caregiver es una persona similar a una enfermera o enfermero. Solo está a cargo del cuidado de los pacientes. No es un doctor, solo está pendiente de su terapia, de darle sus medicinas. Es similar a un enfermero, pero menos digno. Any other question? Okay, well, those are the most common part-time job in United States. Okay, then you have this uh, conversation. Where do you work? Let's listen the conversation and then we're going to practice. Unit two, what do you do? Page nine, exercise four, conversation. Where do you work? Part A. Listen and practice. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job, too. Where do you work? in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, do you have any question about the conversation? No, teacher. No question. No, okay. teacher. no. no questions with the vocabulary. Como no hay preguntas, los voy a poner en grupo. Para que practiquen, los voy a poner en tres por si hay alguien que solo está ahí conectado. ¿Cómo, sí, se traduce, ¿cómo se traduce la, lo cook travel? En español, ¿cómo sería? Eh, es una, el nombre del restaurante es Thomas Cook Travel. Sería como ah, el ah, viaje de cocina de, de Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. Ah, no. Es el nombre ah, del restaurante. Ok. Yes. Hamburger Heaven. What? Eso. Ajá, Hamburger Heaven sería una hamburguesería, así como es el, el nombre del lugar del, del restaurante de hamburguesas, es como el cielo de las hamburguesas. <laughs> Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> like a McDonald's. <laughs> That's the name of the place. Okay, so I'm going to, los voy a poner en grupo. Ya les mandé a su group las imágenes de la conversación para que puedan practicar con sus compañeros. Voy a crear las secciones. Acuérdense que tienen que dar clic en join o unirse para poder practicar con su compañero. Recuerden cambiar roles y traten de repetir, repetir y repetir hasta que tienen con fluidez. Ay, mi perro me dio ganas de ladrar ahorita. <risa> okay. 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 Mi, mi, uh, Soy Andrea primero. Okay. Okay. Yes. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas School Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I do a take people on tour to the countries in South America, like Peru. Oh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's great job. 
I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I had a part-time job too. Uh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Haven. 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 <laughs> okay. Felipe. Felipe. Ahora soy Jason y Miguel Ángel. Andrea. Andrea. Okay. <laughs> Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook. It. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? I'm Burger Heaven. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. mm. Yeah. Okay, yes, teacher, you can practice with Noé. ¿Ya practicaron con Noé? No. <laughs> no. Ahorita voy entrando, teacher. <laughs> Se está desconectando. <laughs> no, es que nunca he conectado a mi teléfono. Ok, practice with Noé. Practice with Noé. Ok. Um, yeah, yeah. Si quieres, si quieres, uh, con Emperatriz, eh, y practicas con Noé y luego... Si quieren, ¿Sí? okay. o, o practiquen los dos, no hay problema, por mí no hay problema. <risa> <risa> ok, empieza tú, empieza tú, Noé. Vaya, muy bien. Eh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? I'm a kid. I take it's people on there. tours. There. What do you do there? Ah, uh, what do you do there? Okay. Um, I'm good. I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru.
this is how to feature microphone. Hi, Karin. Está silenciada, por favor. Teacher. Teacher, you're mute. Ya estoy, me dicen. Very good. Es que se me olvida que siempre que estoy haciendo eso de las secciones, automáticamente me, me, me silencia el, el... Me pone en silencio. Pero les estaba diciendo que lo hicieron muy bien con la pronunciación. Necesitan como más confianza. Para eso pueden verla en la plataforma. Pueden revisar la conversación, practicarla, ponerle pausa, repetir, repetir, repetir. Y lo van a lograr. Eh, vamos a, a dejarlo hasta acá. Y esto, esta conversación es la primera ya parte de la sección 2. Entonces, eh, traten de ponerse al día con los ejercicios para que no se les vayan a acumular y practiquen. Practiquen lo más que puedan, ¿ok? okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you, teacher.